Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's good to be back. It is so good to be back. I am sorry for the gap in guitar related videos. I was really sick for a couple weeks and I wanted to take off a little time to recoup and regenerate over the holidays, but I am super pumped because today I've got something that's Dawsy. And if you know me and if you've been a fan of this channel, I talk about Dawes a lot. They're one of my favorite bands. And I just had Josh Scott on my show from JHS, and we've been talking a lot in the past year, kind of getting to know each other. And he obviously was just on my show. We talked about Dawes and all of our favorite songs off the whole discography. Go back and check that out. Super fun. But Josh was like, have you ever played a treble booster? And I was like, no. And he's like, that's like the Taylor Goldsmith sound. And I think I always shied away from treble boosters because of the name. I thought it was like that high-end thing that I don't really gravitate towards as a guitarist. I like darker tones. And he was like, no, 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 no. It's like there's this beauty in the upper mids thing that happens. It, and that's what you kind of dig about Taylor's tone. So they only made about 700 of these. This is not a new pedal. I am super late to the game. But they, uh, they sold them out in a very short amount of time. And Josh was very, very kind to send me one. Uh, out of his own collection that he kept for himself. So I have to give a huge thank you to Josh because he's an amazing human and just super, super generous of him. But anyway, it's very simple circuit. It's just, you know, the one knob, which is, you know, volume and kind of gain. And then the toggle switch in the down position is more of your classic treble booster sound. And then when you have the toggle up, it adds in more kind of bass frequencies to kind of fill that out. So... I'm gonna play the Josh Williams Mockingbird. I've got my Strat next to me on the floor. If we want to employ that, we shall. But uh, but yeah, let's just uh, let's just play it, man. This is I, I am a huge fan of this pedal now, and I put it right on my board because it's a different flavor. So if you're looking for something a little left of center, that maybe is kind of gonna be filling a void in terms of a different kind of tone, because this thing can almost get like fuzzy. Um, but it's a Germanium Boost. Trouble booster. So here we go. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going into the Two Rock Bloomfield Drive and I've got it breaking up right on the edge there.
All right, cool. So let me put the toggle switch on so you can see, and I'll kind of go back and forth between that, and I'll stay on the bridge pickup so you can hear that woofiness kind of come in. I'm going to crank it up. It doesn't get, I wouldn't say woofy in a bad way. Um, all right, here we go. So it's just what I find that this pedal does really well is it has like the germanium. First of all, the germanium thing is something I don't have a lot of in my arsenal either. A lot of fuzz pedals that I have are silicon. So I'm used to that vibe. Uh, germanium definitely gets a little bit, um, a little juicy quicker, uh, has a little bit more girth and, and grit to it. And this definitely does that. Now with humbuckers, it's one thing. Let's switch over to some single coils real quick. All right, we got the strat. Let's do this thing.
there you have it guys the jhs germanium boost this thing's cool man it's very very fun um it's very simple and it does a thing. It does something that's different than a lot of the stuff you probably have in your arsenal. So if you can find one out there in the ether somewhere on eBay or whatever, or Reverb, I would say try to snag it. It's pretty cool. Uh, and if not this, then go check out some other treble boosters because like me, you might be pretty surprised and you might like it a lot. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. See you next time.